Welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're discussing, please join us on YouTube where you get all the updates to the video content that we're producing. Head on over to YouTube and hit the subscribe button. If you like what uh, the two of us are talking about, you can follow Akash at Magneko Zero on Twitter and myself at Just Analysis One. Taking a look at Ethereum, Ethereum made a new all time high, uh, but more importantly, what's occurred here. If we look at the weekly chart, the most important event that's occurred is that it's developing the highest close it's had in its history. So, I, I mean, all-time highs, yes, those are, you know, that's a big deal, but, you know, the close is ultimately the thing that is the most important. And if we, if we get a weekly close above um, 4,082.3, that will confirm a new all-time highest close on the weekly chart for Ethereum, and that'll be a very, very uh, bullish event. Um, price action-wise, going into the weekend, you know, it, it part of it looks a little, um, a little heavy. I mean, things are are very, very much kind of neutral in the RSI right now. It's sitting at 65. Um, it's kind of floating around there. The composite index is very neutral despite these moves. So there's there's a lot of uh, signs pointing that point, pointing towards some momentum that is higher is likely to be sustained. The problem is you know, at the present, I'm just I'm just not seeing a ton of that um, that like normal. Momentum you see when all new all time highs are made. We, we're not seeing this huge uh, follow through after that that all time high was made. Yesterday's price action was bullish, really nice close, very very strong close, but nothing nothing really signaling. It's it's just like it's one of these things where where where's the excitement? <laughs> you know where's the where are the buyers at? And they for whatever reason they're they're either unwilling or unable to come in and capitalize on this it's it's like uh it's like the uh, momentum has fizzled out in, in a way but in the technicals if it does return it's likely to be sustained so i mean i'm a little cautious you know as far as how high it's going to go from here i'm still looking at that that 6250 range uh, as the next kind of area for it to go to to find some some selling pressure um but i would i wouldn't be surprised to see it pull back down to the kitchen send at 3800 over the weekend that'd be a fairly normal place for it to head to if there's going to be a deeper retracement do a retest of that zone before resuming its move higher and that's what i see on ethereum i'll pass it off to you akash awesome thank you uh I, I am equally bearish on Ethereum. Uh, so let me just uh, explain. Uh, right now I'm seeing uh, Ethereum and its price action being contained in this parallel channel, although we did see a minor uh, fake out down here, which was again followed by a setting up a new all-time high. Is that, right? so, and is, it, is that between 3,800 and 4,000? Uh, what are you talking about? Which level? You, the zone you have highlighted at the in the down here red. yeah 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 just uh one second so so the thing is it set up a new all-time high uh just above it but managed to close below uh the the, the old all-time high uh so this is one of the red signals that i'm uh, seeing apart from that uh it did produce a higher high compared to this swing high here which was uh 4320 uh and if we do get a close uh below this level here so this is a swing high right now. If we get a close below uh, the swing low of this candle here, which is uh, 42.89. So let me just mark that out. So if we get a close below this low here, I'm expecting uh, Ethereum to get down to this uh, four hour demand zone here, ranging from uh, 3,900 to roughly 4,000, right? I'm expecting a 7% drop. Yeah, roughly a 6% drop uh, from Ethereum. Uh, but what's going to happen if we close below this level here, which is 3,900, would be 
Uh, so the the traders that kind of long here are expecting it to bounce off of this and go higher. But when it does that, uh, they're gonna uh, be underwater, right? So it's gonna be like a double pressure that uh, comes up. And then in this case, if it freezes uh, close below this level here, 3,900, then I'm expecting Ethereum to uh, go all the way down to 3,640. And uh, this is where I'm expecting a relief uh, where probably it comes up here again, retest this, and if it fails, uh, I'm looking at a, a run down to these uh, zones here, liquidity levels, uh, which is uh, 30 to 75, 3300. So anywhere between 3300 to 3200 is where I'm looking uh, for Ethereum to stop its uh, descent and uh, reverse the trend. Uh, so this is from a bearish perspective. Uh, as for a longer term outlook for Ethereum, uh, these are the two levels. Uh, $5,000 uh, psychological level is obviously the first point uh, after a dip down to 3300, 30, 3200. Uh, and then 6400 6, is what I'm looking at for Ethereum. Okay, so yeah, we both have pretty similar um pretty similar okay. targets mm -hmm. at the on the upside and i i didn't even mention that um when you were talking about 3200 that matches up perfectly with the ichimoku system um the uh, kitchens the uh, sorry single span b on the daily chart has a very very long and flat single span b uh, which is the most powerful level in ichimoku system where price were to come down to there that would likely be the area it would have halt that's the final major support level so that matches up with yours yours very well too cool all right anyway. well thank you all for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe